John Leggin Blues <laughs> by the Double Denim Bros. Yeah, the Double Denim Bros. Not to be confused with the... Uh, uh, the Yeasty. Yeasty bro. So we've been doing acoustic guitar demos for two days and my fingertips are red roll. Yeah, red roll. It, it does, um, it does, it's good for you. It is. Because I think a lot of people, training. as you said, you spoke to somebody's shop who uses like eights on the, on the electric In guitar. standard tuning, sevenths, sevenths. Sevens sometimes because I use ele elevens in standard tuning. Yeah. And um, yeah, he said, uh, I'll bring my Les Paul in. It's got sevens on it and you're going to love it. And I sorely disagree. But I mean, it's yes, I mean, preference. it's personal preference, but you do get the strings because you've got a G string here that's wound. Yes, it's, wound. it's much harder. And anyway, welcome to Acoustic Parody. So here on Anderson's 2E, that's Joss. Hello, and that's Pete. So we thought, I had a question from uh, Ahmed. Ahmet. Ahmet on yes. my Instagram and he said, you know, he I posted a picture up saying we're shooting these acoustic guitar uh, um, videos mm. now. Just we want to, we want to, we would like you to comment in this comment section below on what we need to shoot because we would like to help out with, with these things. And he asked, can you just find some really affordable entry level guitars? Okay. You know, he's 15 years old, singer yeah. songwriter. And he was just he was just asking, is there anything? So we thought we'll take three guitars that are priced just around two hundred pounds. Yep. That was in the shop today. Uh, three different uh, ones, very very different. It was mm. probably the most three different ones we could find. Yeah, for sure. Steel string acoustic guitars, right under two hundred quid. So we got three guitars. So this one is the most expensive one off the bunch, right? Mm. And probably the one you would go, oh yeah, that looks li uh, that looks like that looks, lit. Uh, that looks like a, a proper guitar, you know, not that the others doesn't, but no, I mean, of this course. is you know what I mean. This is yeah. the this is the uh, this is the I mean, AJ two hundred twenty S. Yes. N for natural. S is for solid top. So this is one hundred ninety nine pounds. Of that you get a solid top with that. Yeah. And that's not. That doesn't happen at that price point a lot. it doesn't happen, it doesn't a, happen lot. a lot yeah, it yeah. does happen but it does happen a lot mostly it's uh you know it's kind of laminate high pressure laminate or something they've made into something that looks like wood which is not bad because you know it's still at the end of the day it's an affordable if, guitar it's so affordable you guitar. what you get is going to be something like that exactly. so having a solid top is yeah. pretty pretty good 199 so i mean so let's say let's say you you've got 200 pounds you go into anderson's today like we did and these there was there is a couple of different ones when we get to the fender i'll explain to you that there's all other other shapes we just took different shapes so this one is the AJ 220S with mm. solid top. So it's got a selected mahogany body, which I'm not completely sure if it is mahogany or not. It looks a bit more like to me. It could be. I mean, it could just be a more affordable version of the mahogany. You know, they, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. different cuts of wood, you know, like, you know, some wood is more expensive than others. Of course, of mahogany course. Uh, it's got a, a glued dovetail neck joint, mm. which is for this price point, that's what you get on the most expensive. Like guitars out there, the Gibsons and stuff. So that's pretty good. It's got a rosewood fingerboard, 
which is also pretty good for this price point. It is. Unfortunately, you can't. We can't really send this to the states. It's no. a bit of a pain in the buttocks uh, with the appendix two. But it's two hundred quid. So you know. So it doesn't have any uh, electrics in here. Uh, it's made in Indonesia and it's got a QC passed on it. And when that sign is on, the, then I'm happy. Uh, it's a nice shaped neck, and there's no sharp frets no. at all. It feels lovely. And uh, today I'm going to play a C chord instead of a G, but I might go to the G and then maybe something else, let's see. So what I can hear um, straight off the bat is that when more affordable guitars, they sound good, but they're not as open in the sound. Mm. Let's say if you went in and spend another, you know, 300 quid, you'll get something at 500 quid mark. You probably get something that was, you know, um, where they worked a little bit more on the bracing inside. Maybe the maybe the top would be a little bit thinner. So. You know, but that's you know, this for a starter's guitar is absolutely brilliant. For but that's the money. what we're looking at, aren't we? and it comes with a 40 pound um kit, so you get like a tuner and all sorts of st stuff for 40 pounds, yeah, yeah. That you know, like a tuner like stuff the on basics, top of this the stuff that you need, yeah. But yeah. you that comes with this, yeah, yeah, when you buy that now. So, I mean, that's great. <laughs> Noodling. It feels really nice to play. The accent is really low. Very comfortable with that, um, even with 12 gauge strings on here, which is normally sort of, that's what they call medium, medium light. light. That's what they call lights, isn't it? If it's something else, it's like 53 up here, but I think this is 54, so it's like 54 mm. up there. Anyway, that's that guitar. So that's pretty nice. cool. So, uh, Mr. Joss. Okay, so the guitar I'm holding is the uh, Fender CC60S. <laughs> CC60S. Too many s for me. CC60S. CC60S. Sounds like a, like a like an old 60, uh, 60s muscles car from like. Oh, did you see you that know. CC60S? Yeah. Oh my. Oh, oh my. That V8 with the uh, you know. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, mahogany back and sides. Yeah. Wow. Check out that. Beautiful piece of mahogany. Um, once again, solid Sitka spruce top. That's incredible. It is. It is incredible. Um, One hundred and seventy-two Two. pounds. Yeah, I like the lines in that in that mahogany top, and that's you can see that that's bookmarked. So when we when we mentioned bookmarked, you can see there's two lines. Yes, you can. Can you see the two lines? One there, one on the top, then one down here. It means that it's a uh, it's two pieces. Symmetrical piece of wood yeah. cut into two pieces. Exactly. Um, so that's really, really lovely. And you know what? It's got rolled Ed's fingerboards. Well, it on. does, and it feels good. It feels good because of that aspect what? as well. So the guitar features a, um, a rosewood fretboard, a mahogany neck, mm. um, and one of the big things is that it's got a quarter sawn X brace scalloped inside. Scalloped X brace. Yeah, that's I something said that you'll all find the wrong on, way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> it's in there. And so all of those attributes on a guitar that's 172 pounds is pretty amazing. That is amazing. And um, what does it say on the features here? It says, comfortable, easy to play necks, solid wood tots, body shapes and styles for every player. And that's exactly what it I is. I mean, for when, you, when, you, when they talk about scalloped X bracing, mm. that means, so you got a, a brace that sits under here, they got an X brace that sits over here, and then you got some braces that probably sits down this way. And what they're talking about is they have a piece of wood like this, and they'll scalloping is they take out the middle bit of this piece of wood that might be this long. So they'll scallop it down, down in the middle, so it vibrates better on the top, which means you get more sound coming out of the sound hole. Okay. okay. Which leads to more flexibility in the top, leads to more tone coming out of the sure. hole, right? So let's hear it. 
Okay. Instead so, of me rambling on about technical things that you don't know. He's the rambling man. Yeah. So we're going into these Neumann KM 184s. <clears throat> into the uh, Apollo 8P from Universal Audio. Dunker Shine. Um, here we go. Is uh, this chord? Big. That's what she said. the same on this guitar? Uh, and what do you feel? Tell me. There is something about the movement of that guitar, the yeah. Fender, that is just big and bright and yeah. this is great. Mm -hmm. But then there's just something about, like if I play this. This is much louder. It is. Even though it's a smaller shape, because this is the, this is kind of an, I'd say it's kind of, uh, oh wow. I'll say this is kind of, um, Double O shape. Yeah. So not a triple O shape. I think it's a bit smaller than than a triple O shape. So this will fit to somebody with a smaller frame, you know, mm. like a like a young child. Yes. Uh, you know, that's just starting out because it feels really nice. The neck is nice and slim. Man. That's I like impressive. That chord you play. Uh, <laughs> that one. That is, I must admit, that's very impressive for this guitar. It really is, it's for, surprising. At, at the moment, this is my favorite of, of these two. We still so haven't far. got to this one, which yeah, is a completely yeah. different guitar. But there was also a notice when we were in the shop, uh, Paul said in there, check this out, because there's one that's about 187, mm. which was a dreadnought shape, so it was a, quite a lot bigger than, than this, more that size. That's a slope shouldered uh, J45 yep. kind of shape. Um, and the, the, the dreadnought is, is not, it doesn't slope as much in the shoulders, it's more square. And that was 187. That comes with the. Uh, there's a whole kit that comes from stuff as well, and yeah, you yeah, get all yeah. the lessons from Fender yeah. and all sorts of stuff. And I mean, that is such a good, so so much value for the money. I mean, most cars you put 80 quid worth of fuel in. Yeah, that's like no, two. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like two times, and then you got a nice guitar. And you know what's really important about a guitar? When you pick it up, you gonna you you have to wanna pick it up. That is, and play that is it. probably apart from the sound and everything. When you're actually holding it, that's probably the main thing. Yeah, is that you want you want to play it. That's the point. So if you don't, then I mean, my only point? my only critique on this right now, as it is coming straight out of the box, is that the neck could just. It could just a little be bit of tweaking. It could just tweak a little bit. It's very simple when you go in the shop and you think, oh, the accent is a bit high. Don't let that put you off because what they can do is they can they, you can put a little Allen key in there and go one little turn to either side. Yeah, just ask. And it could literally change, you know, it could change the whole whole guitar the whole vibe for, uh, you. For, for you yeah. because somebody might pick this up, as I mentioned in another video. Mm -hmm. I would love this sort of higher, the action. higher action, you know what I mean? So, I mean, that's great. That's really, really cool. Well done. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Joss, play this for me. I want you to play that because I, you've been noodling on that. So I thought you had a little... Um, well... This is the Jim Dandy. Yeah. With it, with it. So, now well, this is a completely... Is completely different. For me, this is like a guitar that you would have as a second guitar or third guitar. If you are, you know, if, if you are... Or oh, if you're into that sort of old uh, blues kind of... Uh, well, it's that vibe, right? So you get that whole...
Yeah, see, you get you get much more of that sort of. It's, it's that a old school vibe. Yeah, it's a parlor guitar, which is basically uh, created. It says faithfully created from the Gretz Rex parlor guitars back in the yes. 30s, 40s, 50s. Uh, the Jim Dandy flat top parlor style guitar, and it's a completely different way of doing of doing a guitar. Um, it's red right, it, though. It it's looks really cool, cool isn't it? With the matte black there, and has it got the sunburst finished? It's like a it's slight, like a, like a slight. red. Yeah, it's like a red sort of burst on yeah, it. So it absolutely. I can imagine that would be great for slide as well. Oh yeah, like crank yeah. up the old uh, action on this and get some slide wagon on there. Yeah, and, and you're giggling. Yeah, 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 so yeah. what are we talking about specifications with this? Specifications: so, Agathis, Agathis, body Agathis. top. Agathis. Agathis, I think. Is that what it is? Agathis, yeah. Agathis. 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 This, this. This. <laughs> Aga Agathis on this. <laughs> So um, we're talking Agathis body, yeah. back and sides. Yeah, so like the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing. The whole thing. Um, X bracing. Again, there you again, go. Again, yeah. again. Rosewood um, fingerboard. Yeah. This is cool, man. These are three guitars under 200 quid with a rose with rosewood fingerboards on them. This is really cool. Yeah. I it's 172 quid as well. Oh, hang on. Get the camera over here. Turn this around and then check these open gear tuners on oh, the yeah, back here. Go. This is super western. This is super cool old school Jim Dandy style on the back here. AKA Billy the Kid. Yeah. Dandy. So anyway, let me just try that no, really have a quick. Boosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moosh, yeah, boosh. Yeah, yeah. So boosh. right now, so I've taken a, a, a thicker pick now oh. just, to, just to be able to dig in. Right. Johnson thing, yeah, or yeah, the yeah. whole, you know, uh, Chicago yeah. I think even even a slide on this would be really cool. Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, that's a great. <laughs> That's really nice. It's fun I to like, play, yeah. man. It's a fun guitar. It's a little bit of a... So the neck... The thing with the necks are, they're quite... It's like 11 16th, which is the same as a, as a Martin Dreadnought, uh, D18 or whatever. Um, not the new ones, but 11 16th. It's kind of a... No, but it feels... It feels a little bit wider. Okay. For some reason. Yeah. Um, and that might be because the neck is slightly flatter. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you've got a flatter neck, it feels a bit wider than, than it normally is, but... Nice, nice ring to twenty. Guitar. Yeah, twenty-four inch scale length. It's a shorter scale length. It's um, nice guitar. I mean, so these are three. Yes. Three very different guitars. We didn't think we were going to do more because once you start doing three or four guitars, it just becomes too many guitars. Because the there, there are video. There so many within this sort of ballpark figure. Yeah. But these are just three. Actually, the good thing that we were talking about was that this gives you a brilliant scope on what you could be buying because you've got three different sizes here. Completely different guitars. Completely different guitars yeah. at the same sort of relative price point. So you can yeah. see how different these sound, look and play, so yeah. you can make your own decisions on yeah. where you want to go for your first sort of acoustic guitar. And that said, come in the shop and try them out, for because sure. you can't try them through a YouTube video. No, you we can't. can just help you a little bit. So, so come into the shop and try them out, because you can't try these through a YouTube video. You cannot. Right. So, and if there's anything you want, please, again, uh, comment in the comment section below. Um, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, thank you very yeah. much. That's... Anything else? Which one is your favourite? Which one was my favourite? Uh, probably the Jim Downey, just because I, I just love that old school, you know, lead belly, Robert mm. Johnson thing. It goes well with your look today as well. Thank you very much. Absolutely. See you later. Cheers. 
Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.